Hello, my crafty friends. It's Jelly Bean. And I was in the middle of making some stuff for the hop video that's going to be uploaded tomorrow and doing the video for that. And I got some happy mail. And I wanted to come here and share it with you. This was the week 39 wishes that Carrie sent me from our wishes swap that we do. And I was just really overwhelmed with everything she sent. She really outdid herself. Carrie, oh, thank you so much. And one of the reasons why I wanted to come and share it is because Carrie has decorated everything so pretty. I'm so proud of you, Carrie. <laughs> I know she said she was going to step up her game, but she really outdid herself. She's got... Um, her border edge punches that she punched the paper now. The post office is not very gentle with our packages. We all know that. And a few things, this butterfly here had come off, and I just stuck it on there. I don't know where it actually went, but it had come off from somewhere. It probably went on here with this green. But, you know, I bet it did because the pink matches the pink ribbon. Yep. I'm just about betting that's where she had that. But I wanted to share this with y'all because I am so excited. And this stuff is so pretty. She said she was sending some vintage lace. And she sent this. These are some actual appliques. And I don't really have that many appliques. And this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. Check that out, y'all. And then this... Wow, these are so pretty. I have a little thrift store that I go to, but they want like $75 and $100 for their old wedding dresses that they sell. So I've been trying to find one that I could get at a good price and cut the appliques off, but I haven't got that lucky yet. <laughs> so, and look at this beautiful lace. Of course, it's lavender. Look how pretty that is. Thank you so much, lady. I love this. I am a laceaholic, I guess you could say. I love laces. And I have quite a few, but I didn't have that many colored laces. And I definitely don't have any appliques. Maybe one or two that people have sent me, but that was it. And um, look how pretty she did this topper. She's got lace with ribbon going through it. And this is a pretty vintage green paper with, I don't even know what paper line that is, but that is really pretty. But we got that. And I, she asked me if there was something in particular that I wanted or needed. And I signed up for a um, steampunk swap. But I really didn't have anything steampunk except for the dye that she had sent me in a previous swap. And I was just going to try to cut some of that out. So she told me she was going to send me some steampunk stuff. And she really did. Um, this is some Tim Holtz pieces. It's got a dog and a bird. Looks like a magic wand. And a heart and a bunch of stuff here. It's got some hands. And some other birds and some of those X shapes. I don't know what those are called, but those are really cool. And she sent some gears. I guess you can't really do steampunk without gears, huh? But she sent three packs of these. Wow, I can't believe everything she sent. She really, really outdid herself here. Check these out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And some... um hoop pins. I had been looking for some of those and couldn't find them. But she sent that and look, she decorated the top. Oop, she punched the edge again. And she put the little butterflies that I sent her on that. So I know she's going to like what I sent her. At least one thing anyway. <laughs> and this is a die and stamp that, check out how she decorated this. She put like um peacock feathers on it and she edged around them and drew on them that is so pretty and then she put this pretty um rose trim up here 
That is so pretty, and that is pretty too, the peacock. She said she had two of those. Someone had given her one, so she was going to share with me. And then she sent me this pretty pastel lace. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just admiring it. This is so cool. It is so pretty. I'm not going to take it out right now, but you can see it pretty good through here. Look at that glittery pastel. Like I said, I don't have many colored laces. Mine are usually white or off-white. I have a few little browns and tans, but there's a pearl getting away there. And then this is some ribbon, and she decorated this. Look, there's another. I know she likes butterflies. I like butterflies too, but she punched the edge of this. This was actually pretty bent up. Like I said, the post office, they just really beat up our packages, but she even put crepe paper in behind it, so when it showed through, it And we're back. You know how it is when your iPhone says, out of storage, and it just cuts off? That's what mine did. So... I had to go in and delete a bunch of videos and come back and try to pick up where I left off. I had to go back through and see what I had actually shown y'all and what I didn't because when it died I didn't know because I don't see the screen and I just kept going and going and so I didn't actually know it had stopped. But anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to try to pick up right where I left off and y'all excuse my band-aid my paper trimmer decided to um, attack me the other day and my finger every time I take the band-aid off will start bleeding again because it's like a really paper cut but with a paper cutter <laughs> if that makes sense but anyway my, my paper tools are just attacking me here lately Anyway, as I was saying, Carrie even added crepe paper in behind so it would show through and the butterfly is purple and so is the background. Isn't that pretty the way she did that? And this is some of that um, tape and some ribbon that she sent. That's some really pretty tape too. I like that. And then she also sent some of uh, this little smaller ribbon and there's purple and a cream color with gold and a gold and a pink and a burgundy. And then she also sent, I'm going to come back to this in a minute because I noticed something while I was off camera. <laughs> Look how pretty she decorated this. This is a shimmer paper. And she's got these really pretty flowers on here. I don't know. They're kind of like the Chinese braid that they rolled up or something. It's really cool. I hadn't seen any like that. But anyway, this is some of the wallpaper that she and I had discussed. Because I had started doing stuff with wallpaper. And she sent some pieces of wall. She sent big pieces. <laughs> I don't have them, I just have border paper, and this is very textured. This is going to be really cool to cover a, a I'm thinking about a box, to alter a box with a lid. Wouldn't that be pretty? But it's a real pretty light pink color with, it's almost a beigey lavender and a green in there. That is really pretty, and I love the texture of that. This is a very shiny um, cream color with some little itty bitty pink flowers, like little daisies. And this has a really nice sheen to it. This is another big piece um, with some pretty flowers and pink and lavender. And this, I love this. And I noticed something. I was sitting here looking at this and it's got the pretty burgundy and cream and blue flowers. And look, the lace that she sent, I don't know if she did it on purpose, but this burgundy and this cream matches perfectly. So, 
I don't know if she did that on purpose or not, but it looks good. <laughs> I know where I'm going to use that. And then she sent some more steampunk stuff. And I think I'm going to like doing steampunk. I just have never done it before. So now I have plenty of stuff to do it with. Check this out. Here's some clocks and some tokens. And these even have letters in them. And they have words up under where the letter is, like G is G genuine and courageous is C. That's really cool. And then these are some tags, and they have the words on them, journey and artful, altered. Who I can use the altered on the altered box that I do with that wallpaper. Cool. Okay. So we got that, and I got some pearl strands and look she even made a little fan out of crepe paper and I have made bows and rosettes but I haven't made fans yet so that's cool that gives me good inspiration and an idea I'm gonna try to do some of those too but she's also got some flat back pearls and a little heart I love this little heart the pearl heart and then this um I love the way she did this topper. It looks like, I don't know if she used stickles or if she used washi tape that was glitter and then punched it, but it's glittery right where she punched. So I don't know which way she did it, but it's really pretty that way. And then this pretty little bow with the heart, pearl heart. Isn't that cute? You did so good. These, I believe, are some wedding invitations she was talking about she got. And it's really, these are really cool. This is the point that I had gotten to when I realized the camera had cut off. <laughs> so, or the phone actually. But, um, these are really cool. And I haven't done a journal before, but I do want to try one. And I think these would be awesome to do in it. And look, look at these. This is a big envelope. And then this has the card part that slides into it. And then you got the big envelope that goes with it. And there's some purple ribbon in here. Those. And what are these? Let's see. Oh, these are some more little... Um, envelopes with some cards or card fronts they have um, like embossed in them too they're very textured that's really nice and I love these these are like you could probably use them as a tag because they have the holes punched that you could tie the ribbon but they're really cool and they're really thick and textured these are really nice too and then these are like a burgundy with gold. That ribbon would also go with this, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think she matched everything. And look at the envelopes to match. Isn't that pretty? And then this big one with the big envelope. Those are really nice. Thank you. And then this is some vintage papers and stuff that she sent. And... I'm doing it a little bit backwards from the way I was doing it before. So <laughs> that's why some of it's already open. But these are awesome. These are die cuts. And there's like a set of 20. But they're gold textured Merry Christmas. I love those. And then there's some Happy Birthday. If you can see. And it's all gold foil. And it's like die cuts that um, maybe were used to make cards or something. I don't know where she got these, but they are really cool. Really cool. This is a braided piece. And check these out. These little tassels. Very, very nice. More tassels and braid. And check these out. These are holly leaves. Aren't those beautiful? I love this kind of stuff. And then some Christmas tree die cuts and a gold angel. 
and some Santa stickers. Try to hold it closer where y'all can see good. Vintage Santas. And then check these out. These are embossed and very dimensional. They're really cool. And it's like the old world Santa. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And here's another happy birthday. And some gold seals. Those are cool too. I don't know where she gets her vintage stuff like this, but this is awesome. Oh, look, it's a sleigh and a reindeer. Wow. I love that. And look at this. This is... They look like puffy stickers, but they're, like, embossed. See the back of them, how they are? Like they used to do embossed. <laughs> and look at this Santa. Very, very cool. And then here's some vintage. Oh, these are some address labels. Cool. I love those kind of flowers that I can't remember the pansies. I remembered. <laughs> those are awesome. I got to put that back in there so they won't get messed up. And then these look like some postcards. I love this stuff like this. I tend to lean more towards shabby, but I do like vintage. Look at this postcard, y'all. That is definitely an old one. That is, too. They don't make buildings like that anymore. Look at the church. These are so nice, and each one is individually wrapped. Wrigley built building convention hotel and tribune tower from bridge wow so cool these are beautiful oh look some of them's even got writing on them it looks like a almost looks like one of those old glass doorknobs <laughs> look at that the watercolor beautiful Crook River Bridge, Oregon Trunk Railway, height 320 feet, length 340 feet. Cool, huh? I like the ones that tell stuff. Oh, you can tell that's an old one. Look at the buildings in there. The crookedest street in the world. Ah, I see what it's talking about now. It goes like this. Can y'all see that? <laughs> These are really, really cool. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. Scenic Gems of Yosemite National Park. It's got canceled postage on it. Oh, wow. Check these out. It opens like this and they unfold. That is super awesome. Check those out. I've never been to Yosemite. I'll probably keep those <laughs> myself. And it's got a bunch of stuff in here that tells about it. I'm not going to read all that to y'all and bore you. I don't want to put you to sleep during my videos. Some pretty vintage paper. Oh, wow. It's even got like the onion skin paper in between it. Check that out. Very nice. That would be really pretty decoupaged. But if I try to make a journal, I'm going to try to use some of that. And this is the pink paper she was telling me about that's yellowed around the edges. And it's real thin. This is kind of like the onion skin paper. Isn't that cool? Ooh, I love that. Thank you, lady. Thank you for everything. Very, very much. And thank you all for watching. And don't forget to like subscribe and share because we're having a hop and we're having giveaways and every channel is going to be doing a giveaway but y'all have to subscribe and like and comment on each one of the videos everybody will all six channels will be uploading new videos every saturday so 
I'll go ahead, I know this isn't one of the hot videos, but I'll go ahead and link the channels below so y'all can go ahead and check them out if you didn't see the other video. And come back tomorrow, I'll have a tutorial or a project share. I'm trying to get a tutorial ready, but if I don't, I'm going to do a project share. So, if I can get the video ready in time, I'll do a tutorial. <laughs> but y'all come back, whatever it's going to be, I promise it'll be good. And I'm going to have a giveaway tomorrow, first day. So, see you tomorrow. Y'all have a crafty day.